Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Jeeb Cheerio, composer here at the World Music Reaction and Review Channel. And I'm still full throttle on the OST reviews. Now I actually have had some people going, Hey, you gonna get back to some songs from artists from around the world? Yes, I am. I'm just kind of, you know, enjoying the ride here. The air is blowing back from everything that I'm learning. New way of, of understanding composers and how they write the games and stuff. It's really exciting for me, you know. And, and so uh, I kind of feel like a kid in a candy shop. Um, with with the paddle, no, what to call a, a gaming controller? Oh, I said paddle once before, and people started laughing. What do I know? I'm an old composer. All right, guys, um, another brand new uh, to me, uh, a composer by the name of Chris Christodoulou, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And the name of the track that I'm doing is Risk of Rain Two. Now I'm looking at this little side. Um, uh, kind of mix a uh, playlist that, that's going on here. Actually, it's coming from his channel. And uh, I, it doesn't have a title in particular, like all these have a title. So I'm going to say and I'm going to assume, and you're going to straighten me out if I'm wrong, but this is probably the theme. If it's not, tell me where it sits up in the uh, video game. So let's do this. Thank you so much. Hey, listen, the Twitch live stream has been really fun and really successful. Having you guys parachute in and talk story with me while I do those are great. That link's gonna be down below, but you know, if you never make it to Twitch, or maybe you just don't like Twitch, I will always take those videos, edit them up for YouTube, so I'll make sure you never miss it. All right, that was a long intro, wasn't it? You know where all the links are for the support, the cups of coffee, check out the headsets I'm wearing, yada yada, are all down below. So let's do this. By composer Chris Christodoulou, this is Risk of Rain 2. All right. There's so many super cool little intricate things that are going on here. So I, I'll let me try to break this down a la old man uh, composer. I know, at least I feel, that if this was released in 2020, that obviously uh, the composer used, you know, modern technology and modules and stuff. But I can't help but feel that some of these sounds, now this is going to kind of be like old school composer geek out for a second. And for those of you who are in the know, are these they kind of remind me of the original Oberheims or the Juno 106 style uh, synths that were from the 80s. You know, the late 70s, early 80s, mini Moog style, but obviously, you know, reprocessed today, you know, in, in however it is, whatever modules that he's using there. Uh, I love the textures and the fact that, I mean, I'm only looking at a piece of artwork here, but it really, at least from, since I don't know gameplay or anything, very, very digi scientist, uh, you know, kind of, really like sci-fi kind of vibe with it. Um, the blend of the ambient use um, and the real super tight, 
you, I guess you want to call it the hi-hat from the trap. One of the unique things that you have that I that at least I try to keep my ears open for is how composers approach that, the use of that high-end hi-hat and keeping it dry. There's no reverb on it and all that because it would really in in the tone with that with that kind of owns, it would kind of add a sheen you know to the sound it would be just kind of kind of tinny and stuff he's got a really strong diverse represent representation of the tone um you know from I, I like to call it beetle fart to dog whistle uh you know zero to 16k and um i like the fact that when the drums came in first of all there's a lot of things that are going and there's all these really super cool little intricate arrangements in there but what I loved and, and what it squared off for me is when the drums came in, and <coughs> excuse me, the, you might consider the cut time. And that is this really unique kind of blend for me of giving you the sense of things are happening with a little bit of anxiety, especially these are not dark and haunting chords, but they're definitely like, you know, sounds of, uh, or, or the chord changes uh, that he's making are more like a mysterious kind of vibe because thus far he is kind of there is one note you know we sometimes call it the root or the or the the primary note that's carrying through it there's one that's going through that whole track um, but the way the drums kind of interact with everything is going and if you listen really closely I'm sure as we go on listen for the amount of arrangements that are happening in so many different layers. And that, to me, is what I love about uh, the digital. I don't know if we call this EDM. I'm not, I have no knowledge of how many subgenres of EDM there is. But that's what's wonderful of this kind of composition is because everything is so crystal clear. And there's usually not, a, not a, uh, um, an intense battle of tones. That is, the composer's choosing what to use to write with sound-wise. You could really fit a lot of great things in there and pull them in the mix and so on and so forth. Okay, I just got to give it one more stop. I know I'm only just a minute away. I'm really super digging the fact that that drum kit came in there to give it a little bit more life and kind of stepped us out a little bit from the all digital realm. 
if you would, be it it's a drummer or if it's programmed, I don't know, today's day and age, I don't even bother trying to decipher that because drummers can trigger samples or whatever the case is. Uh, but the feel of that is super sick. And I love how, it, like I said, it brings us, it kind of now kind of lifts us out of that. One more thing I want to say is that, that whatever it is, that lead guitar sound that he's using, um, uh, I really love the tone of that. But I like the ambient stuff that's happening in the back. And I want to clarify something. I, I listened again super tight to the, the hi-hat of the trap, and there does sound like actually there's a really slight ambient slap back on it. So, you know, it, it look, I tried to do this one time and listen, I'm definitely not going to pick up everything. But I really super dug when these drums just came in. Oops, stand by. Hit the wrong button. That little, meow, meow, that little barking is so cool. That was really super cool to leave us off uh, hanging out like that. Um, the feel on the drums is super, super cool, especially that, you know, this is because everything has been very rigid in, in, in tempo. And so what I mean by that is, is you hear all these multiple sequences that are going off and he's doing such a great job with these little, you know, he's got, he'll have like a master sequence is happening kind of in a more of a, kind of in a mellow mallet kind of vibe. It's not bright and punchy, but the then you hear him, you know, coming in with these other smaller arpeggiations with different sounds that that counter answer back to so there's always something going but, now, but when i say rigid i just mean everything is just really digital and very tight and these drums come in like i said and it just gives us that little lift and stuff and um so and then like i said that that whatever the lead sound that he's using and maybe it's to emulate the guitar uh was really super slick and i really love the melody that he had in there now i can't go back and and you know hook into that melody i think the hook to me the, the whole hook to me through this was um, just the hypnotic kind of edginess of the composition, uh, 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 rhythmical arrangement of the composition, you know. And I really, I, I really, right now in my head, I'm actually, it's, it's almost like, <laughs> I say this on my heavy metal channel, it's almost like when you take a steak off of the barbecue, it's still cooking for a few minutes. That's kind of like how my brain works. <laughs> so I'm still right now going, Dago, do ga do ga you know. And I, I'm afflicted, man. I'm a composer. I can't help it. Anyhow, this was great. I think I might have to make a Twitch journey out of this and just sit there for an hour and a half or so and listen to all of this uh, because I'm that guy. I'm not, well, or I'm not that guy where I'm just a composer and I listen to a certain kind of music. I'm down for everything, and this style of music t uh, to me is just as badass as classical composition. So. Anyhow, this was a longer one than I anticipated, but I was having a good time. If you're still here, type in, I'm still here. If you want to see this on a long form uh, Twitch uh, live stream, you can also tell me, let's do the Twitch or something. I don't know. I didn't tell you guys what to write in the comments. All right, listen, thanks for hanging out. Once again, all the links are down below if you want to support me with a cup of coffee, the Patreon, and also uh, the Twitch link and everything. You guys take care. See ya.